evening and welcome to the Festival Foods Kitchen. I am Count Ryan. Tonight I'm having some very special guests over for a Halloween party. It's going to be a spooky good time. So, let's get cooking. The first dish we're preparing tonight is called Mummy's Meatloaf. For this, we're using Mom's Meatloaf from Festival Foods. We're going to chop this up into slices and then dress it up with some olives and white American cheese to make it look like a mummy. It's a great dish to prepare right before the kids go out trick-or-treating. Hey, go! My cape! Yes, Master, yes. Thank you, Ugo. Okay, let's get started. I've chopped up my mom's meatloaf into slices, and I've cooked it according to the instructions on the package. Now we're going to dress it up to look like a mummy. Okay, first we're going to take some white American cheese and cut it into strips. All right, now we're going to take our cheese strips and lay them across these strips of meatloaf, and now take some sliced black olives, or green if you'd prefer, for the eyes. Okay, now we're going to take our mummy's meatloaf, place it in the oven at about 425 degrees for one to two minutes. Be sure to keep an eye on them though, because if you let them go too long, They'll get too melty and won't really look like mummies. You go! You go! You go! Place these mummies in the tomb. Yes, tomb. You go! Remove the mummies from their to the oven. The Bring out the mummies! Yes, Master Mummies. Thank you, Ego. Sorry, Master, sorry. We've finished the mummies meatloaf. Now, let's move on to our next dish. My next dish is called Quasimodo's Queso. This is an excellent dip to have at any party, but especially a Halloween party. First up, we're going to add a few ingredients and get them simmering in my cauldron here. Set you go! Yes, master. Please assist me with the cauldron. Our first ingredient, a half a can of beer. Next up, a little cumin. And a bit of oregano. Igor, the garlic, please. Yes, master. Next up, I'm going to add one can of refried beans to our pot. And one can of fresh salsa. And we're going to stir it until heated through. Now we're going to take our Velveeta and cut it into one half inch cubes. Now that the rest of our ingredients are heated through, it's time to add our Velveeta cubes. All right, now stir these until completely melted. Finally, 
I've got one bunch chopped fresh cilantro that I'm going to add to the cauldron. Now we'll let this sit on low heat until we're ready to serve. Our next recipe is called Killer Artichoke Bread. First up, I've got some artichoke hearts here that I've drained, and we're just going to start by chopping these up. Okay, I've got some butter that's melted in my pan. Now it's time to add some garlic. Ega! Bring out the garlic! The garlic. Dear master. God, man! I, the minced garlic! Sorry, master. Sorry. In the pan! Okay, my garlic's been heating for about 30 seconds in my pan. Now I'm going to add... Now we're ready to scoop this yummy dip onto our ciabatta bread. Spread that around evenly. All right, I've got the artichoke dip spread evenly across my ciabatta bread. Now it's time to toss it into the broiler. All right, my artichoke bread is fresh out of the oven and it's looking amazing. So let's cut off a few slices. Ah, finally time to eat. Our next recipe is Buffalo Chicken Burgers. Today I'm going to be making them just a little bit smaller than normal, so they're going to be sliders instead of burgers. Let's get rocking. We're going to start off by combining all of our ingredients for the sliders. I've got two pounds of ground chicken, a little Parmesan cheese, some salt, some pepper, a little Italian seasoning, And then we've got a half cup of wing time buffalo wing sauce. And really get in there and mix it up. Now we're going to take a meatball scoop and form our sliders up. And then place them right in the pan. Igor, bring out the buffalo chicken slider. Yes, master. Let's plate up. Okay, I'm going to add a little bacon ranch and just a drizzle of that wing sauce. Let's see how it tastes.
delicious. All right, we've finished preparing all of our dishes. Now it's time to sit back, enjoy a beer, and wait for our guests to arrive. Happy Halloween. Cheers, Igor. Cheers. Ah, sounds like my guests have arrived for dinner. Excuse me. Go! Is that you?